What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and the camera keeps fogging. <laughs> but anyway, so as you see in the title and the thumbnail of this video, yes, I am having issues with my bags. Isn't that just great? And the camera's going to continue to fog up, so let's just go ahead and get in the car. What is good, y'all? You dig? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. You dig? All right, y'all. So we're in the car now. Let me go ahead and get y'all that coat start. You know what I'm saying? I would have loved to have done it outside the vehicle, but with the weather being stupid. about the issues that I'm having with my bags okay and the only reason why I'm making this video is because I want to know to those guys out there that are also bagged is this a common issue that y'all have it's three things that is going on with my bags one of them is getting fixed um, next week Monday um, but the other two I've been told not to be too concerned about again another one one of them but the other one I'm not a hundred percent sure so the first thing is gonna be where um, where my guy Clarence why ran the wires for the controller so something that y'all don't know my controller I have to unplug it every time I get out of the car why because it is currently wired to my fuel pump um he was having some issues finding a power source that turns off when the car turns off um but long story short i just have to unplug my controller every time i get out the car now the reason why this is an issue for me personally is because i want to have the feature where you cut on the car and it airs up by itself now it's not you know what i'm saying it's not that big of a deal um as far as like getting it done because it doesn't take the controller that long to cut on however it would be nice to have it to where i can just literally turn on the car from the uh, remote and it airs up to my ride height um and then i'm cool closer and i can just pull off um but you know what i mean it is what it is it's not that big of a deal i'm taking it to him on monday he's actually going to rewire it um we found the fuse i believe the cigarette lighter um, one of my homeboys who's actually bagged uh, 54 ways on Instagram if you don't know who he is Hey, man them Florida boys go crazy um, But anyway, I was asking him and he told me where his was wired to so we're gonna go ahead and try that one and Hopefully it works um, But the second issue that I'm having Is actually when I air out so Boom we're at ride height right now, right? We're gonna see if it did it, does it, because it did it last night. It's like at random places it doesn't wanna air it doesn't want to air all the way down. So I'm gonna go ahead and air it out. See like it doesn't want it wants to do it, bro. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. I say air out. And now it does it. But I hope I got that on film. <laughs> It's not like a consistent thing, but basically what it does is when you press air out, right? It'll go and then once it hits like 20, all four corners hit like 20 and you'll hear the air from the um, the exhaust where the air is like let out. It um, it like kind of shoots. It sounds like, it literally sounds like a paintball, a paintball gun being shot with no, um, with no bullets and it says minimum height reached and it won't let me go any lower than that and it'll be at like 20 um on the front driver's side 22 in the rear on both sides and then like 18 on the passenger side in the front which is so confusing to me because it's like air out 
you know what I mean? The settings for air out is zero. So why is it not zero? Let me know if you guys are having that same issue in the comments down below because it's something that like, it has my mind kind of tweaking, you know what I mean? Because this is a very expensive kit. Um, I already went through the issue of having one bag blow up on me and that was not fun because even though these the bags are ha the bags have a lifetime warranty <sighs> airlift finds their ways to weasel out of you know what I'm saying actually going through with giving you that warranty which really pissed me off um, but that's a story for another day now the third thing now my boy 54 ways again he told me that this is nothing that I should worry about it's just because my bags are brand new but it's been it's been a couple of months since I've had the bags on the car and they're still it's still doing this so basically when I air up right all four bags pop it's like a loud ass like pop like they're popping into place or some shit like that you heard it Oh my god, I'm so happy it did it. Um, like I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know if it's like just settling or what the case may be. You gotta go up because I got some speed bumps coming. There's another one. You see? Like I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like I don't know if it's type PTSD I got or something like that because of the um fact that you know what I'm saying? The the first one blew on the front passenger, but it's like weird as hell to me. That that joint just pops, like all four of them do it. And even like, it's not a quiet pop neither. Like you can hear it um, outside the car, in cabin, like you hear it. And it's like, what the hell is that? So like, I don't know, man. If you guys have bags and you know what I'm saying, this is something that's happened to y'all um, before, something that happens to y'all, or y'all know why it's happening, you know what I'm saying? Please, 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 do your boy a favor. And drop it down in the comment section down below because I swear I'm like especially with everything I went through with Hazel man the OGs know I'm like really on edge about any like little noise or creak or whatever the case may be that I hear in my car or I like, get you know I'm saying around my car I just I don't like it you know what I'm saying but um I'm actually on my way to Shipley's right now which is dead ass right there <laughs> uh, because my girl she's at work and um, yesterday somebody rear-ended her so the damage is not that bad but it's like we literally just bought that car it still has paper tags so it's like it's, it's so stupid people are so fucking dumb the dude like they were literally sitting at a red light and the dude just runs right into the rear end of her car and his stupid ass gonna say oh i'm sorry my dog bit me nigga what like bro i'm sorry i'm i'm different you feel me i don't play that shit we would have been squabbling straight off the rip what the fuck you mean your dog bit you so you rammed your car into the back of my car what like bro people like I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? It, I don't. Hands up. You feel me? I don't get it. But um, I'm going to go ahead and run in this little ship leaves right here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't know if y'all can see in the reflection. But yeah, you can. You see them eyes, boy. I'm on the purple joints today. Got the purple joints out. It's a vibe. It's raining. You know what I'm saying? Purple rain. RP to the boy. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and run in this ship leaves real quick. I had to put on a mask, big Rona out there, you know what I'm saying? This shit ain't no joke. Go ahead and run into the ship, please. Grab my girl some kolaches and, and the orange juice, you feel me? And then we're gonna go drop it off to her at work, push back to the crib. I'll probably stop at the gas station or something like that. But um, yeah, man, just give me a couple minutes. I'm gonna run in there real quick. I'll be right back. So you dig what I'm saying? Back in the whip, got the Rona mask on. It's actually, it's actually mandatory. And I think, Texas, it might just be Houston. No, I think it's just Houston. Yeah, it's actually mandatory in Houston now for you to wear a mask in public places. Let me know down in the comment section down below. Is it the same for you guys in your cities? Um, you dig what I'm saying? Because I'm actually, I'm actually a little curious. 
Cause I know a lot of people out here is acting like this corona shit is not real. <laughs> you feel me? And it definitely is. I seen a uh, a stat the other day that said <laughs> over a million people have died from corona. You know what I'm saying? That shit is no joke. And I'm not trying to be next. I'm not trying to be on that list. I'm not trying to be a part of that stat. None of that. You feel me? But um, I'm going to go ahead flip the little, flip the angle up, switch it up for you guys. I know you guys liked uh, the last uh, POV that I did. Let me know down in the comment section, man. Should I go ahead and invest in another GoPro and get the POV hat going? Like Mike from Street Speed 717 has patented. Patented. I can't say that word. I don't know why. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Mike from Street Speed 717, he got like this vlog hat where he literally puts his GoPro on his hat is in the middle of his hat so you can literally see basically everything that he sees let me know down in the comment section down below if that would be something that you guys would be interested in if i should go ahead and make that investment because i'm really down and i've actually been contemplating doing it because you know what i mean if i do get another gopro i'd be able to get like a suction cup mount and go ahead and have it attached to the windshield as well and get some good in cabin reactions for you guys and it would be good for like track days and stuff like that so y'all can see me go down the drag strip get a little morning pool just a little morning pool just you know what i'm saying wake her legs up a little bit just a little bit get her a good little stretch get mamba a good little stretch but um yeah man let me know down in the comment section man let me know what you guys think you guys want to get that pov going you guys liking these angles what y'all want to see man also i think i think you know what i'm saying i've come up with the wheel setup that i want to run for mamba on an everyday everyday use um as of right now i've seen some nice wheels man some nice wheels with just the right offset um my boy chris uh the dude with the g35 coupe oh big scrapey boys um with the g35 coupe actually helped me spec them joints and i'm not gonna lie they look nice so y'all stay tuned for that i got some stuff coming man it's just i'm about to move got a lot of bills <laughs> Being, a, being an adult is no joke, but the channel is doing pretty good, man. I need y'all to do me a favor and go over to me and my woman's channel, Joy and Joel, and go check out the video that we dropped um, this week. It's actually been doing good numbers. I think we're at like 95 views right now. Go run that joint up, you feel me? Smash the like button over there. Subscribe over there if you haven't already, man. We got some good content coming. My girl is like super excited for that channel to really like take off. She's been wanting to get into the couples channel vibe for a minute and I've actually been pushing it off to the side, waiting until we got 100 subscribers so that the channel could actually get verified so that we can, um, you know what I'm saying, do things like put custom thumbnails in and stuff like that. But um, I just said, you know what, F it, let's just go ahead and drop a video. So we dropped one, y'all go check it out, it's pretty dope. But without further ado, man, to be honest, that's really gonna be it for this video. Also, do me a huge favor, y'all, a huge favor, please, if you wouldn't mind. Go check out my little brother's channel. He actually just started a gaming channel. It had literally nothing to do with me, bro. I didn't tell him that, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't telling him to start one or nothing like that. He hit me up one day and was like, big brother. Yeah, he calls me big brother. Um, I started a YouTube channel. You're not gonna believe what the name is. Uh, tell me and he told me and it's literally J.I. Dot Jr. <laughs> so y'all go show my little brother some love man y'all go subscribe to his channel I'll put the link in the description down below he's been streaming like crazy he legit streams like every other day it's actually dope you know what I'm saying to see um, my little man doing you know what I'm saying something productive doing something um, consistently consistently and he actually loves it you know what I'm saying you guys don't necessarily have to watch the content I know you know, some of y'all are grown, y'all are my age, you know what I mean? We don't really, you know, do that. But for those of you who do have little siblings and, you know what I'm saying, uh, little cousins that are interested in Fortnite gameplay and all of that, man, y'all go put them on, man. J.I. Dot Jr. Also, go check out my sister's channel, uh, Sabine TV, I believe, if she didn't change it again. 
um, you know what I'm saying, for all the ladies out there, or all, the, you know what I'm saying, all y'all girls, you feel me, that are interested in like makeup tutorials and all of that, man, y'all go check her out, go show her some love, um, put the link in the description down below as well, and without further ado, <laughs> that's gonna be it for this video, man, if you're new to this channel, please smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, we're on the road to 2k, we're almost at 1800, we're like 20 subs away from 1800, so y'all go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now, turn the post notifications on, give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment in the comment section down below, and uh, with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next one, peace. <laughs>